Good evening and welcome to Emerge. Today is Thursday, March the 26th, 2020, and it is another beautiful day that the Lord has brought us through. Thank you, Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. God is great all the time and all the time. God is so very great. So today for our Emerge moment, I want to talk about placing our confidence, our faith, believing and trusting in the Lord. Placing our confidence, our faith, believing and trusting in the Lord. Yes, these are some trying times that we're going through, but it will help us. It will give us that blessed assurance to place our confidence, faith, believe and trust in the Lord. God has all power in his hands. God knows what the next day will bring. He knows what's before us, the next hour, the next minute. He knows it all. He has the whole world in his hands. Do we really think about those words and what they mean? He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Do we really think about what that means? God has all power in his hands. God is able to empower the scientist, the doctor, the nurse. God is able to turn this thing around. God is able to make what is crooked straight. God is able to make what is wrong right. God is able to heal the brokenhearted. He is able to heal the sick. God is able to do anything and everything but fail. In the book of Luke chapter 18, verse 27, the scripture text says, what is impossible for man is possible for God. What is impossible for you and for me is possible for him up above. And that is comforting to know because you know what? We don't know when this will be over, but God knows when it will be over. God knows when the land will be healed. God knows because he has all power in his hands. I believe in my heart of hearts that God wants to humble us to pray. It says in the word of God, when my people who are called by my name will turn from their wicked ways and humble themselves and pray. I will hear from heaven and heal their land. He is able to do anything but fail. It is time for us to pray. It is time for us to put it in the master's hands because he has the whole world in his hands, all in his hands. I put it all in his hands. This and that, this, 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 and that too. It's time for us to put it all in his hands and let's walk with confidence. Let's walk with faith. Let's walk believing. Let's walk trusting, knowing that God is going to work it out. And let's thank him in advance for what he is going to do. Let's thank him now. Let's praise him now because he's done so much for us already. If we think about our life, if we think about our track record, all that the Lord has done, all that we went through along the way, how he has brought us. He is amazing. We have to take a moment. We have to take time more than a moment because he deserves more. He deserves more than a moment. He deserves more than a minute. He deserves more than a day. As we have this time, as we are slowed down, as we're at a pause, as we're at a standstill, as we're at a different type of schedule, let's give God some of that time. Let's stay in his presence because I'm telling you, in his presence is a peace that no one understands. Try him and see. You will see that the Lord is beyond great and he's worthy to be praised. So as I leave you for today, remain blessed, remain resilient, Keep walking and talking with the Lord. Keep your confidence in the Lord. Keep trusting in the Lord. Keep faith in the Lord. Keep believing in the Lord and be blessed. God bless you.